This morning, our series, The Dish, brings you a taste of Naples, Italy, by way of New York City. Una Pizza Napolitana is one of the most well-reviewed pizza joints in America. Owner Anthony Mangieri is both the mind and the muscle behind the operation. We spent the morning getting inside his head and behind the counter to talk inspiration, passion, and humility. As we discovered, when it comes to making the perfect pizza to Mangieri, they are all connected. You have said that your relationship with pizza is like an addiction to a drug. Please explain that to me because, to be honest, I identify with that. That's how much I love football. I think the addiction to the pizza is the idea also that like I can never really reach the finish line with it. I feel like the more I put into it, the more time I put into it, the, the further away I actually get from the idea of mastering it. Anthony Mangieri talks about pizza the way someone could describe the delicate subtleties of falling in love. And to really understand where love like that comes from, you need to understand its origin. Long ago, there wasn't really anyone in America making the pizza that was from Naples. And you know, my family is from that part of the world, and I used to drive my grandmother crazy, and she was more of the kind of woman, like a lot of old school people were, they were just like, I don't want to talk about anything, leave me alone. And I was like, but I want to know this, and I want to know that. And then as I got older and started to go to Italy, like it just, it connected with me so much. It tasted so different than like, anything I had eaten. You know, my original goal was to like, bring this like, ethnic, almost exotic food to America. Una Pizza Napolitana on New York's Lower East Side is what you get after decades of refining the simple. The menu, it's uncomplicated. Only pizza here, five different pies. And the ingredients, Mangieri keeps that simple too. Now, can you explain to me how creating something so simple can be so difficult? You know, when things are really simple, I think that's when it actually can get complicated because mm. there's nothing to hide behind. You know, it's almost like if you're, you know, in a rock band and you're gonna do your solo concert and it's gonna be like you singing acoustic with nobody else, there's nowhere to hide. It's similar with making pizza and especially the way we do it at Uno, which is like pretty straightforward, pretty lightly topped, and really trying to let the very few ingredients that we use sing, you can get lost in that. Mangieri, now 50 years old, discovered his pizza obsession while in his teens. He opened a bakery in New Jersey when he was 22 and established the first Una at the Jersey Shore in the 90s. He later moved that shop to Manhattan and then to San Francisco before settling back home here in New York City. Our dough is the same way we've made it since the beginning. It's naturally leavened, so there's no yeast in it. What that means on some health sides is that it's easier to digest. Mm -hmm. We change the dough mixture every day. I don't think we've ever made it really? exactly the same. No, and I don't write anything down either. So some days we come in and we're like, oh my God, it's great. And some days we come in and like even today, I was like, dear God, I hope it worked last night. <laughs> Splashed across the pages of high-profile restaurant reviews, Mangieri's work has been widely recognized. Thank you, Anthony. Here he is in the Showtime hit Billion. It's good to love what you do. Enjoy, guys. And food critics of every flavor have sampled and reviewed his Neapolitan-style pizza. Pete Wells of the New York Times said this about your pizza. Unmistakably, the finest sit-down pizza in the five boroughs. Does stuff like that go to your head? No, no, I mean, man, I feel so grateful, like, to even be able to make pizza and do it for a living. Actually, I think when he called me to fact check for that article, I was, I'm pretty sure I said, <laughs> you don't have to write about us, <laughs> you know? It has to drive you, though, and I, I know you drive yourself. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, I'm pretty self-driven and self-motivated. For more than a quarter century, he's made nearly every bit of dough and every Una pizza himself. This oven reaches temperatures around 1,000 degrees. It only takes about 90 seconds for a finished pizza to emerge. So you take one scoop like Just that, one little send it in the center, and kind of spin it around. Oh my God. 
that spoon. And trust me, it's harder than it looks. And you make pizza until you're out of. We make, yeah, we open at five. We make pizza till we're out of dough. Um, along with our pizzas, which we have five very basic ones, there's four toppings that you can add to those. And those offer, toppings are? Those toppings are Parmigiano Reggiano, Calabrian Long Hot Peppers, which are amazing, pepperoni, but it's not your average pepperoni, it's incredible, and anchovies from the Amalfi Coast. For Mangieri, quality product starts with being open and being humble. It's baked into his personality and baked into his pizza. I don't think anything can stop you. It's like cause and effect. Yeah. It's the rules of the universe, you right. know? But like you would know, man, playing yeah. sports, it's like, you know, you're not gonna be an NFL superstar in five minutes. Like it's a <laughs> lifetime right. of like effort and struggle. So the mozzarella, and it's the same with a small business. Whatever it is, if you give it, people are gonna come in, they're gonna see it. Yeah, much respect to y'all. It's just tricky. They're gonna get it. They're gonna understand that like this is for real. This is the truth. We put it on here. Yeah. And that like you are giving it your all. And I think it's undeniable. And I think you will find your success. Man, I can sit there all day long and eat these pizzas, Thanks, man. man. Thank you. And Nate, you brought us some go. pizza because yeah, I, I know go that's for what some. we said. Where's the pizza? They're in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go to Anthony's house. He's got such a great face, and I love his confidence. He's got swagger. Anthony. He does have swagger. He does. Well, he's been doing it a long time, and he yeah. approaches it from a place with passion, um, which makes it easy for him to do his job. It, it trips me out that he has been there every single step of the way. Yes. Yeah, so how did he feel about doing billions? Oh, he's. I remember that episode. Nervous. He was nervous. He was nervous for sure. More nervous than making pizza. But you make pizza, though, Tony. I do. I got an ooh in my back. Backyard. No grill, but I do make a pizza. All right, we got to come by your house to eat.